Maimelari Barracks, which houses the headquarters of the Northeast Joint Operation had in Kai, is in celebratory mood, even as the Yuletide season continues. The pews are not full to capacity. Women and children constitute majority of the population of the church, evidence that the men are away in the front lines. This year's celebration is unique as it had in attendance the chief imam of the Maimalari Barracks Central Mosque in solidarity with the Christian community. Irrespective of our religion, we worship only one God. So we shall pray hard for the success of this country so they will not bring the end of this insurgency, the Boko Haram, the banditry, kidnapping and other things. It's only prayer can solve that problem. Children adorn beautiful style and clothing, unaware of the concerns their mothers bear about the absence of their fathers. The women who now head the homes must hold it down in prayers. <laughs> Christmas message to our husbands away is that even though with the situation they are facing, they should still hold on to God. My message for them is that we love them and we pray that God should continue to keep them from the hands of the evil and we wish ourselves many more celebrations. They have been keeping a good work for the whole country, keeping peace. But without them, it's very, very stressful. But with the help of the Almighty God, we do everything to see that everything goes well. The theater commander, Operation Hadinkai, extols the hard work and commitment of the fighting troops, giving an assurance that their well-being and that of their families remains a top priority of the Nigerian army. We we'll pray for success in our operation, pray for our officers and soldiers, so that we end this menace and then we'll have peace in the Northeast and peace in Nigeria. As the fight against insecurity continues, thanksgiving and prayers are offered for the success of all military operations across the country.